definitely one question comes in JE main from this chapter mathematical AC. Okay. Now, in the era when the geometry was evolving, I mean, in the era of those uh, huge mathematicians coming up, okay, Aristotle and all were working on geometry. There were a group of traveling teachers which they called sophists. Okay. Now these guys, they had a reputation of you know arguing for any point, and they used uh, some kind of logic to confuse people. Uh, for example, he'll say, uh, "Laika is my cat. Laika is my mother. So my mother is a cat." Like that. So they should give some diff you know weird arguments where. Uh, they would confuse people. So there were some kind of traveling teachers which we call as the sophists. I mean, I'm just giving you a bit of background, may not be very important for you. So they were traveling uh, teachers who used to give weird arguments to confuse people. Okay. And then Aristotle, who was working on geometry at that time, he started writing a book called Refutation of the Sophists. That book was called Refutation. Of the sophists, okay. Where he started mentioning some kind of reasoning or logic in order to refute the arguments given by these sophists. Okay. So what are we going to study today is basically logic, which is a science of reasoning. Okay. Logic, which is basically a science of reasoning. Okay. So as you know, in geometry, we deal with points and lines and all those concepts that time in logic, we deal with statements. So first we need to understand what are statements or what are propositions. Have you done this chapter in school? Yes, sir. Okay. So you tell me what is the meaning of a statement, mathematical statement or a proposition? Uh, it's not vague. It's not me. What about you, Niyati, Adhata? It, it makes complete sense. Okay, now there are three things normally we, we tend to misuse. One is utterance. Utterance is something which is just a verbal expression, which may include nonsense expression. Like, you know, uh, abracadabra, something like this. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Or let's say like, uh, you know, uh, goodly goodly good. So something which you say, which doesn't have any meaning to it. Okay. That's when at utterance. Second is a sentence. A sentence is basically those utterance which have a meaning. So utterance with a meaning is a sentence. Okay. So let's say like, you know, I give you eat your lunch. It's a sentence. Or where were you going in the afternoon yesterday? Okay. Give me a glass of water. Wishing you best of luck for your uh, practical exams. So these are all sentences. Okay. Now those sentences which can be answered as a true or a false, but not both. That means there should not be any ambiguity whether the given sentence answer is true or a false. Then that will become a statement. Okay. To give you some example, 2 plus 2 equals 4 is a statement because you can say true for it. Phi is a rational number. That's also a statement because you can say false for it. Yes or no? Okay. Yes, sir. So things where you can conclude or sentences which you can conclude with a true or a false, but not both are called statements. Now, if I say raise your hand, is this a statement? Uh, no. Why not? You can't say true for raise your hand. You can only do it. Yes, absolutely. May God bless you. Is it a sentence? <laughs> yes, uh, it is. Sent but is it a statement? No, it is not. No, sir. Okay. All so, roses sir, are uh, yeah. Hello? All roses are white. Is it a statement? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I will not waste too much time on this. These are something which we have already done in the school. So we represent a statement by a symbol P. P stands for proposition. Okay. And whenever we have to write a statement, we write P colon and then we write that statement. Right. So if I have to say a statement that 
venkat is happy okay i'll write it like this okay then there is something called denial of the statement or we call as the negation of the statement which we write as a symbol p preceded with a tilde sign okay yes sir 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 okay so Hello? the negative of this statement so if if i say venkat is happy is a statement p what is the negation of venkat is sad venkat is sad is not happy or it is not the case that venkat is happy so there are different versions of the same thing you know you can write anything in the exam or it is false that venkat is happy all those things can be written for it okay now what type of questions can come on negation there are something called quantifiers i don't know whether you have done this in school there are two types of quantifiers which we normally talk about one is called a universal quantifier and the other is called an existential quantifier okay what is an universal quantifier have you done this no sir no okay sentences which contain all or every like that are sentences which are said to contain universal quantifier for example let's say i give a statement uh, all cats bite so basically this statement is having a universal quantifier okay all prime numbers are odd it may not be correct but i am using all here to show a universal quantifier okay whereas statements which contains there exists or some okay these are called existential quantifier right so i'm i'm sure you would have used this symbol for all for all or there exists okay so these are basically symbols representing universal and existential quantifiers now why is this important is because whenever a sentence begins with universal quantifier we have to be very careful while negating it let me give you a question let's say um there is a statement which says um all roses are white okay what do you think is the negation of the statement it's not the case that all roses are white wrong oh there exists some rose that's not white right absolutely so when you oh. have a universal quantifier remember its negation will start with or will contain an existential quantifier so you can say there exists a rose which is not white or you can say it in various ways some roses are not white yeah not every rose is white yeah not all roses roses are white are you getting my point so please note that never say uh, the negation of a statement containing a universal quantifier like all roses are white don't say all roses are not white okay why well, sir if you say all roses are not white it will be marked wrong okay why all roses are not white basically see, if you are able to show an inst uh, one of the roses which is not white then you you have negated the statement you don't have to say all the roses are not white for example let's say everyone in france speaks french hmm okay uh neeti you can join again i think is my voice echoing to everybody no sir it's nice if it is echoing Okay, I can see. I can hear the echo actually. Oh. If it is echoing, you can join again. There is no uh, problem in joining again. Okay. Now it's proper. I never felt any echo, sir. I'm using that thing, earphones. Yeah. So let's say I give you a statement. Everyone in France. Let's say I give a statement to you. Everyone in France. 
pinch. What is the negation? There, of negation? there exists one guy in France who does not speak French. Correct. Will I say yes. everyone in France doesn't speak French, or all people in France do not speak French? That will be wrong, right? Because in order to negate this, if I, even if I find one person who doesn't speak French, my job is done. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. At least one person in France doesn't speak French. At least one person in France does not speak French. Or there exists a person in France who doesn't speak French. Or some people in France do not speak French. So there are various ways in which you can negate it. Is that fine? Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah. Sir, when language is being created, uh, so utterance, statement, and sentence was, was all the same, sir. Were all the same. Ah, uh, when language was being created, there was there was actually a meaning found out in the utterance, and then it was made a sentence. So at that time, like for us now, guli guli go didn't make any sense. But right, that right. time, when it was being right, you for you now, very German will not make sense. Right, but now there's a pattern in which they are speaking it. So for them, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But don't worry about it. We are dealing with okay. mathematical statement. Okay, sir. <laughs> yeah. In a similar way, if a statement starts with an existential existential quantifier, okay, then what is the negation of that? It will start with a universal quantifier. For example, let's say uh, there exists there exists a cat. Which there is glasses. Oh. Okay. What will be the negation of that? All cats bite. All cats bite. <laughs> is that fine? So remember one thing: negation of a universal quantifier should begin with an existential quantifier, and negation of an existential quantifier must contain a universal quantifier. Okay. Let's see yes. whether we have a question based on this in our previous J exams. Okay. We. Yeah. Let's say I take this question. Question number five. I read this question. Let S be a non-empty subset of real numbers. Consider the following statement. P says there is a rational number x belonging to the set S such that x is greater than zero. Which of the following statements is the negation of C. Others, everybody has to participate. It's not like only one person. It appears no, uh, Venkat, that they have given the speaking role to you. <laughs> Nobody speaks here other than you. Oh. <laughs> when Dheeraj was there, that also he has stopped coming. I don't know where is he. So Niyati says something else. Venkat, you said C, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What about you, Amla, Nidhyata, Advaita? Say something. Meaning, I talk a lot, sir. Ah, no, no, no. That's fine. Absolutely. You are at, a, at your normal behavior. Don't worry. Oh. Screen frozen. But mind is working, right? <laughs> Read the question. Question says there is a rational number which is greater than zero. It starts with an existential quantifier, isn't it? Yeah, so I think C will be here. That means you have an existential quantifier here. Okay. Then read carefully and tell me which of the uh, options is correct.
it should have a universal quantifier tautology what's tautology i'll come to that don't worry okay sir tautology is a statement which is always true for whatever component values that uh, whatever uh, value the component statements have anyways so in this case uh, can i say a is my answer if i say x belongs to s x is less than 0 implies x is not rational is this my answer yeah oh no i guess no right? sir okay <clears throat> this is something else this is actually a uh, next is, there is a rational number x belonging to s such that x is less than equal to 0 now existential quantifier negation cannot be another existential quantifier so b is also wrong okay now there is no rational number such that x is less than equal to 0 is it saying the how is the negation of that yeah this is sir oh there is no rational number such that x is less than equal to that means they are saying all rational number are greater than 0 right hmm okay so isn't it the same thing oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. now every rational number present in s is less than equal to 0 is a negation of a. so d is the correct answer right? oh yeah neeti gave the right answer good neeti okay so this is how you have to deal with this kind of you know problem and let me tell you one problem it definitely comes okay next compound statements did i unshare this thing no sir it's nice compound statements What are compound statements? A statement which contains more than one elementary statements. Those are called compound statements. Okay. Uh, let me give a simple example. <clears throat> Let's say eighteen uh, is divisible by. Six and three. Okay. If you look at these statements, this is a basically statement made up of two component statements, and those statements are eighteen is divisible by the six and eighteen is divisible by three. And you have another statement: eighteen is divisible by three. and these two statements are being connected by a connector which we call here as the and connector okay now this connector is basically represented by this symbol in logic okay and such a statement will be called as a conjunction conjunction okay so when you say p and q mathematically or symbolically it is represented as p up arrow q and the statement is called conjunction and these two component statements are called conjuncts these are called conjuncts okay now i'm sure you would have done boolean logic in your computer science in junior classes correct mm -hmm. nothing no no sir oh ho oh. Anyways, Boolean logic is basically, uh, you know, uh, you can say a modern version of this logical reasoning that we had learned from our Greeks, which is applied to Boolean. Uh, George Boole was an English uh, mathematician who applied that to Boolean logic, and that is used mostly in sort of uh, electronic circuits, you know, NAND gate, AND gate, OR gate, all all those kind of things. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. For the purpose of simplicity, you can assume it to be the multiplication. Okay. Now, how does a truth table of and look like? So, something called truth table. What is a truth table? 
Have you heard of this called truth table before? Yeah, one one zero zero and all, right? So basically, it is a kind of a tabulation of what is the outcome of a compound statement for different different inputs of the component statement. For example, let's say if I say both my P and Q are true, what can you say about P conjunction Q or one. P and Q? That will also be true. Yeah, one for you is true. Okay. Is yes, sir. Okay. Okay. What about this is true, this is false. This and this. Uh, false. False. Yes. Because until unless, see, if I say 18 is divisible by 6 and 18 is divisible by 5, that means 18 is divisible by 6 and 5, you will immediately say false for this because it is not divisible by 5. Okay. If P is true, Q is true. Uh, sorry, P is false, Q is true, then also this is going to be false. false. And if both are false, then definitely is going to be false. So the only occasion when your conjunction is going to be true when is when your conjects both are true. When you both the conjects are true, then only your conjunction will be true. Okay. Now let me tell you all statements containing and should not be taken as a connector. Okay. For example, uh, Water and oil do not mix well. Here, and is not acting as a connector. Uh, Are you getting my point? So yes, you, sir. All the ands as connected. By by the feel of the statement, you'll understand that it's acting as a connector or not. Okay. Now, next connector that we're going to talk about is basically a disjunction, or we can say or connector. Or connector, also called as the disjunction. This was done represented by the symbol down arrow. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say I give you a statement: Venkat is smart and lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Venkat is smart or lucky. Sorry, Sorry. Okay. Now here, you may be both. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay, two types of or <laughs> which we normally come across in our uh, English language. One is called exclusive or, another is called inclusive. Hey, you. What is inclusive or? The statement which I gave you, this is actually an inclusive or. Because you can be both. Okay. What if I say oh. a statement like um, Nagma is dead or alive? It is exclusive <laughs> because he cannot be both at the same time. Okay? Or something like I will stay at home or I will go out to see a movie. That is an example. Oh. Correct? Home theater is not, count, not counted. Yes. So there you cannot include both the situations in the statement, but here you can say yes, Venkat can be both smart and lucky. Okay. Unless there is something wrong with the bulb or with the wiring. Now both can happen. There may be uh, something wrong with the bulb as well as with the wiring. Okay, so that is inclusive or. So in our discussion, I will talk about inclusive or. I will not talk about exclusive or. Okay. Is that fine? Yes, sir. And again, please do not treat every or as a, a connector. For example, I am I'm going to watch the movie Sita or Gita. <laughs> so here or is not really the connector. Okay. What about the truth table of this junction? Let's talk about it. It'll, it'll be true, 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 false. False only when both are false. So true Correct? will give you a true. True, false mm -hmm. will give you again a true. False, true will give you a true. And false, false will give you a false. That means only when the component or the constituent statements are false, then only your disjunction will be called as yes sir now, something very important here what is the negation of a disjunction sorry conjunction i claim that the negation of a disjunction sorry, the negation of a conjunction is basically 
disjunction of their negation that means both are equivalent oh, no. oh the morgan's law this is actually the morgan's law morgan's law correct can you prove this in order to prove that any statement is equivalent to another or you can say this is the symbol of logical equivalence you just have to show that the truth table are the same okay can we now do a truth table of this guy and show that the truth table of these two match so what i'll do is i will make a truth table of this p q p and q uh sorry before that i'll make not p not q let's say not p not q <coughs> yes what happened when get no sir i just got a crick in my leg okay not p and q and finally we'll make it of not p or not q okay and then check whether this column and this column matches or not so let's take the process of how many inputs we have for p and q remember it's always 2 to the power n 2 uh, oh that way, yeah so if there were p q r let's say then it will have eight inputs okay hmm. let's say true true so what will be this false false hmm true this will be false 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 you false or false which is false correct then true false this will become false true false true uh false false this will become a true this guy will be true that'll become a true uh, false true, true or false true yeah false true true false true false uh, true and false 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 yeah false then true uh, true then and, this is also true correct yeah okay false false finally let's talk about false 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 this will be true 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 false true true false. correct this will oh, be no, no. and this will be true oh yeah correct no so as you can uh, yes, see sir. two columns exactly match that means two things are logically equivalent to each other a lot of questions will be asked in whether the following state which of the following statements are logically equivalent or not okay so there please remember to you know do it by truth table one sec sir this is some one second copy this sir i'm looking at you i'll take screenshot yeah yeah please done sir okay in a similar way following de morgan's law only i can say negation of a disjunction is logically equivalent to conjunction of their respective negations okay i'll i'll leave it to you as a question yeah. please prove it using tt trying to get examiner is that fine yes sir okay now comes the important part so so far we were doing funny activities but now comes the serious part of this chapter which is called implications <gasps> what the implications are also you can take compound statements but here the connectors are not the and or the or but it is something like this let me give you an example of an implication by the way implication is also called conditional statement okay so let me give you a <coughs> typical example of implication if it rains I then, I will not be, then i will not go out okay as you can see this is made up of two component statements one is it rains and then i will not go out okay so you can say this is one statement and this is another statement q okay 
and if p then q is symbolically represented as p single direction arrow q okay where p is sometimes called the antecedent okay many book will call it as hypothesis Many books will also call it as the premise. Okay. Premise. Oh. Q is called the consequent. Precedent. Oh. Okay. Consequent. Okay. Yes, sir. But some books will call it as the conclusion. Okay. Now, why it is called a conditional statement? Because for the second statement to happen, or for the conclusion to happen, there is a precedent to that or antecedent to that. okay and remember it is the direction of the arrow is only one side it doesn't go the other way right what does it mean it means that p is a substitute condition for q but q is a necessary condition for p uh what sir i'll give you an example uh, yeah i'll write it down p is Sufficient condition. Sufficient condition for Q, but Q is a necessary condition for P. P. Sufficient means it is it is sufficient that if P happens, then Q will happen, right? But if Q happens. p may or but, may not. are you getting my point so try to no, let me give you an example if it is a sunday okay then school will be closed okay so if somebody says you that hey today is a sunday then what what conclusion can you draw about the school being open or closed pakka closed it is definitely closed pakka closed but if somebody comes and tells you school is closed does it mean it has to be a sunday not necessarily it may be closed because of some oh. right it may be closed because of some you know uh, riot in the town corona virus it may be oh, closed okay. because of corona virus it may be closed because there is some leopard on the road are you getting my point <laughs> yes okay. sir so this is a sufficient condition for this to happen and this is a necessary condition for this to happen. are you getting my point okay yes sir it doesn't mean it is it is fulfilling the entire requirement Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. We can also read it as P implies Q. Okay, that's why it is called implication also. So you can also read this as P implies Q. Okay. One second, sir. One second. Sufficient. Have you done this in school? No, sir. We spent like thirty-five minutes on this chapter. Oh, okay, okay. This is the most important part because lot of questions will be framed on this. And even a final exam is coming for like one mark, one to two marks. Let's say. Three also one question will come, not more than that. But that's there'll be a short short question, right, sir? Sure, sir. You'll definitely get four marks there. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. Written. <laughs> There's no need to write down, I think. I'll be sharing this with you. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, seriously? Then chill, man. I'm not writing. Listen to me. Enjoy this chapter. Okay, okay, sir. Now there are certain things which are associated with implications. So when you say P implies Q, okay, that's a, this is an implication. There are certain terms that we need to understand. If you write this ulta. we call it as converse of this implication okay now remember if p implies q q may not imply q that means if this is true this may or may not be true can you give me an example mm -hmm. 
if this guy is true then this guy will not be true uh wait one second sir like two minutes two minutes figure it out that oh yeah <laughs> so if x di- um, x died because of coronavirus mm-hmm. uh q implies p x died doesn't mean he died because of coronavirus okay i'll give you a very uh, related example if a number is divisible by is divisible by what has happened to my spellings yeah divisible by 9 then it must be divisible by 3 yeah okay but can i say the vice versa is true no no if a number is divisible by 3 it may not be divisible by 9 for example 6 okay so my dear that's why in class 9 you were proving theorems you had to prove their converse also separately are you getting my point so when i was like studying in my class 9th all these proofs of triangle and circle you know there was a proof that if you draw a you know perpendicular on the chord it will bisect the chord okay then there was a converse of it a perpendicular from the chord must pass through the center like that so i was very frustrated that time why are we proving the same thing ulta and sidha you know two times because of the fact that if a implication is true its converse may not be true are you getting my point we'll soon see the truth table of it also okay next type of statement which will come across is something which we call inverse which is like if not p then not q this is called the inverse of the implication okay let me give you a implication you tell me what is the inverse of it <laughs> if it is cold then i will wear my jacket okay tell me what is the inverse of this statement tell me what is the converse also okay vidyuta has given a statement so the inverse is if it is not cold then i will not wear my jacket very good vidyuta what about converse if it's if i'm wearing my jacket that means it's cold yes if i wear my jacket then it is cold okay now the third one is what we call as if not q then not p you can call it as the inverse of the converse which we call as mm-hmm. contra positive statement or contra positive of this implication okay so if i have to write a contra positive for this statement over here what will i say if i don't wear my jacket that means it is not cold or uh, that yeah are you getting my point yeah yes okay. sir now just a question up front which of these three means the same thing as the statement itself contra positive contra positive contra hey who see who has come dheeraj oh my god dheeraj you made my day <laughs> welcome sir <laughs> okay so the answer to that is yes contra positive but we'll see that through truth tables let the truth table tell me that this and this are logical equivalent first of all let us see the truth table of if p then q truth table of if p then q so listen to this very very carefully it may be surprising to some of you it might be surprising surprising okay if p and q both are true what do you think is if True or false? True. 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 If this is true and false, what is the answer? False. False. 
if this is false, this is true. Right? False again. Uh, uh, it is true. Oh. If this is false, I told you it will be surprising. It will be surprising. Yeah. Uh, 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 false. True. True. Yeah, it's double negative becomes positive. Okay, now doesn't I, happen the other thing, da. No, I, I know. But English rules are like that. Yeah, Dheeraj and uh, I'll explain you how it happens. Okay. Let's say yes, there's a husband who makes a promise to his wife that if I get a promotion, if I get a promotion, then I'll take you to Singapore for a vacation. Okay. Singapore for a vacation. Right? Now, tell me when does a husband become a good husband? When he keeps up his promise. Of course, when he keeps up his promise. So let's say he gets a promise. That is true. He takes his wife to Singapore. That is also true. Is he a good husband? Yeah. Yes. If it is a good husband, write a true there. Okay. <laughs> now, if he gets a promotion, but he doesn't take his wife to Singapore, is he a bad husband or a good husband? Bad husband. Bad. Bad means false. Okay. Yes, sir. Make the point. If he doesn't get a promotion, poor fellow, but still takes his wife to Singapore. Ah, uh -huh, nice guy. Super god husband, right? Yeah, yeah, but also poor husband. that fellow. So again, write a true. And if he okay. doesn't a promotion and he doesn't take his wife to the Singapore, that doesn't make him bad actually. He actually fulfilled what he said. That's true. Okay. That's a funny way of remembering it. But the idea is if the antecedent becomes false, we do not care what is my consequence. Whether it's true or false, we do not care. Your, your uh, implication will still be true. True. For example, if I say, if you study, you will clear, then you will clear IIT. Okay. Then you'll get into IIT. Okay. Now, if you studied and you got into IIT, peace. Then no problem, right? Peace. But if you studied and didn't get into IIT, then definitely you will come and shout at me. Sir, you said you studied and didn't get into IIT. I studied, but I still didn't get into IIT. <laughs> so, if the antecedent is true, but the consequent fails, then only you will come and shout at me. Right? Then only you will raise a question. But yes, if you sir. study, and let's say you cleared IIT, that means you will be still happy, right? Because, you know, antecedent here is false. That doesn't mean your consequence cannot happen. Just like your school. If your school is closed, it need not be a Sunday. Oh, okay. okay. And if antecedent is failing again and consequent is failing, then it is basically doing whatever is required from the statement. So if you don't study, you will not get in. Simple as that. Yeah. Now, I would like you both, no, not both, all of you here. <laughs> I actually thought two people are responding, so two people are there in the class. I'm sorry. So now I want you all to make a truth table of if not Q, then not P. Please make a truth table for this. And verify whether as what we got over here. Sir, your voice is going in and out sir like uh, amplitude is decreasing and increasing oh really yes sir i want you to give me the truth table for this when you are ready let me know let's do one thing why, why to do only this? We'll do all the three. We'll do this also. We'll do this also. And we'll do this. So that we can check which of the three that we had discussed, converse, inverse, and contra posture, is logically equivalent to the implication. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. 
Okay. So will this table just be the uh, like bottom to top for the above table? We'll check. I don't remember the exact answer. We'll check. I mean, it depends on how you start and stuff, but okay. Should we discuss now? Wait, sir. Um, Q implies B. And they are. Yeah, yo. Can we do it together? Okay, sir. Yeah, that's better. So, this sure. is the two table of Q implies P. So, we did the reverse way. Promotion takes his wife. Good husband? True. Yeah. yeah. Didn't get a promotion, takes his wife. Good husband? Yeah. Gets promotion, doesn't take his wife. Bad husband. <laughs> get promotion, doesn't take wife. She's a good husband. Now, not P implies not Q. So, read it like this. False, false, right? Yeah. False, false. Yeah. True. Uh, true. False, true. False. False. False, true, true. False, true, true. Oh, yeah. Correct. False, false. Yeah. True, true, true. So you took that antecedent thing as Q, right, sir? No, no, no. I'm talking about this guy. Oh, okay. Not okay, P. Not it. P is false. No. Not Q is also false. So false, false oh. means uh, not getting promotion, not taking wife. Good husband, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now false, true means not getting promotion, still taking his wife. Good husband. True. Hmm. True, false. Getting a promotion, not taking the wife. False. Uh, bad husband. Getting a promotion, not taking. Yeah. This one. This one you have to re read the other way around. False, false. Uh, good guy. True. Top and bottom will always be like same. True, false. False. Uh, uh, yeah. False, true. True. False, true. Yeah, good guy. Okay. Now you can see here very, very clearly that TFTT and here also TFTT. While the others are not giving TFTT. What does it yes, mean? Sir. It means to us that P implies Q is logically equivalent. So many books write it like this, many books write it like this. Both are fine. It's logically equivalent to saying if not Q, then not P. Okay. Yes, sir. Is that fine? So, sir, I have a request from you, but in this page only two minutes you can you spend, sir. Why, why? Yeah, Since yeah, you are yeah. giving this notes, uh, one second. Uh, so for this, this and this, uh, I like I don't know how to tell this, but I won't. For me, in future reference, replace uh, P with Q. That that statement. Yeah, yeah. This and is, uh, this is this is your husband's promise, and then this is your wife taking to Singapore for this guy. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, one second. For my future reference only. I hope no one will mind. Anyway, you are giving this to us. Uh, pen. Pen. Yeah. Okay. One second, sir. One second. Okay. Wait. Done, sir. That's an E, by the way. Now, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What about the negation of this?
By the way, when you write, it is not going to be seen. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I realize that. Damn. Anyways, okay. Um, okay. Negation. The negation of this, I claim that this is same as saying P happening and Q not happening. Okay. Let's think like this. By how, sir? How? How? Let's verify this. Okay. Okay. P Q P implies Q. Negation right. of P implies Q. Okay. And P and not Q. So let's say true. True. What will be this, by the way? True. True. Good husband. What is this? False. False. What is P and not Q? Not Q is false, right? Yeah. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So far, false, false, same. Now let's see true, false. Bad husband? Yes, sir. False. Negation of it is true. 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 True and negation of false. True and true, that is, true. which is true. true. Okay. Now false, true. Nice guy, damn nice guy. Nice guy. This one? Um, false, false and false. False and false. This is false again. Yeah. Then finally? False, false and false. False and false will be true. And then true. Be this will be true. True. False, uh, true. Okay. false sorry. True, true false, false, false. false. Yeah, false. Do you see that there, this, this table and this table exactly, uh, this column and this column exactly match? That means, yes, they are logically equivalent. And it's common sense also. If you say P, if P then Q, then the ulta will be P happening and Q not happening, isn't it? When is the only so, baby, if, yeah. you say, Sir, you said if I'll study, I'll get into IIT. I studied, but I did not get into IIT. So that will be the negation of what has happened. Hmm. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Kind of, I don't know. Damn good. Uh, okay, sir. Next is... By conditional. Okay. This is basically if and only if. Okay. Now, if and only if statements are basically represented as two direction of the action. Okay. It is to be read as P if and only if Q. Okay. Please read it as P if and only if Q. That means P is both the sufficient as well as the necessary condition for Q and vice versa. Okay. So you can also read it as P is a necessary and sufficient condition for Q. And vice versa. Okay. You can say that the statement is as good as if P then Q and if Q then P logically come yeah. and operator. Or logically combined with a conjunction. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me give you an example of this. Uh, if you give Venkat, oh yes, fruits, Ayo. if and only if, let me write, if and only if, if and only if, if and only, by the way, this is represented by a short form with IFF, okay? Yeah. Then Venkat will eat. So that means Venkat won't take it from tree and eat. You should give it to him. Yeah. 
So now, now what is the meaning of this? I think I wrote your spelling wrong. <laughs> okay. Now what does it mean? It means that if you if Venkat then only he will eat. And if Venkat has eaten, he must have eaten fruits. That means both imply each other. So any one then the other will automatically be obvious from both. Correct? So if somebody comes and tells me, hey sir, Venkat has eaten. <laughs> then I would understand automatically that Venkat was offered fruits. Then only you would have eaten. Else not. Correct? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. That, hey, Venkat was given fruits. Then I would automatically understand. Yes, he would have eaten. Are you getting my if point? If only if you give Venkat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, uh, I thought the main thing was give here. It, it's not give. It's if and only if. That's the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean that he'll go and pluck uh, from tree any. That doesn't mean that, right? Don't uh, go into the lateral part of it. So if Venkat is given fruit, he will eat. Think like that. Oh, yes, sir. Don't focus on the give part. Yeah. If he's offered fruit or if he is provided with a the fruit, then only he'll eat. Okay. Yes, sir. Think like that. Okay. Can we have a truth table of this quickly? Yeah. Let's have a truth table of if and only if P then Q. Now remember that this is equivalent to saying the conjunction of this P Q and Q P. Yes. So keep this in mind while you're making the truth table. If you want, I can make separate columns for these two. And then we can have a column for if and only if. Let's do this. True, true. What is this? True. True. What true, is true, this? true. True. This, this will also be true. For if, if and only if to be true, don't both have to be true or both have to be false. Right. We'll come to that, uh, Dheeraj. That's what yeah. we that's what we're going to discuss now. So if this is true, this is false. First of all, bad husband. Mm, yeah. Bad husband. Good guy, yeah. The intersection, or you can say the conjunction of these two will be false. False. Okay. False to good husband, other way around, it will be a bad husband, and conjunction of this will be bad. False. False. And finally, when you have false, false, this will be true. This will also be true. And conjunction of true, true is also true. What does it mean? It means, as what Dheeraj rightly pointed out, Unless until both the component statements are true or both the component statements are false, it will never be true. Okay. So this is like what? This is a, these are the kills of or statement, right? And was a separate class. These are all the uh, subsets of or statements. Where is an or statement? This is an and statement. This is an and only, no? No, no. Uh, okay. Because in or false and false gave a uh, because in and false and false gave a false here everywhere else false and false giving true. No, for and statement false false was also a false. Huh, that's what yes sir. Or, or was also false false was false, but here it is giving true. Hmm. Oh okay sir. So. so basically, when I say if Venkat is given a fruit, then he will eat. Mm -hmm. It's logically equivalent to saying if Venkat is not given a fruit, he will not eat. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, if I ask you, tell me the negation of this. How do you write? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... What do you think should be the negation of this? Uh, Don't worry too much. The negation of this is the negation. Not negation. Yeah, the negation uh, of this guy. Right? right? Oh, okay. Now, you know, when two statements are connected by a conjunction, you normally write it as negation ka uh, disjunction. Ulta. Yes, sir. Right? And this itself is P and not Q. Okay? Or. Q and not P. Not P. Yeah. 
So do it for homework. Draw the truth table for this and check whether the truth table for this gives you false, true, true, false. Hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll take screenshot of homework, sir. Please. You're done, sir. Now, somebody was asking, "What's the tautology?" Tautology is basically a statement which is always true, irrespective of what is the truth value, logic values of the component statements. Should I repeat my statement once again? Yes, sir. A tautology is a statement which is always true, irrespective of what is the truth value or the logic value of the component statements. Irrespective of what is the truth value of the component statements, okay. Let me give you an example. Let's say P or not P. Is it a tautology? So here P is a component statement, okay. So let us draw a truth table for this. So this can only take true or a false, right? Correct. So the negation of it will be false or true, and if you take the or, it will be true to itself, right? So irrespective of whether this is true or false, this guy is always true. So this is actually yeah. tautology. Now don't expect such easy. They'll definitely ask you a difficult. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. On the other hand, there is something called a policy. Policy, or we can say contradiction. Uh, that will be that guy. Replace a downward arrow with upward arrow. Right. An example of it can be P and not P. That means the statement will always be false, irrespective of whatever is the truth value of the component statements. So let's say I take this as true and a false. Then this will be false and a true, and their conjunction will always be false. So false. 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 Whatever is your uh, input statement. Your output is always false. So this is our example of a policy. Yes, sir. Now before we proceed, I will take up a lot of questions with you, and then I'll start with the validation of statements. Okay. So let's start yes, with the questions. Let me just open to the sheet here. Can we quickly complete the archives previous year paper? Yes, indeed. First one. So transdental is at pi and all, right? What's a transdental number? Let me think, sir. Transdental function and all stand function. That's what we learned some time back. The transdental number. Something like e to the power pi. E. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sir, is pi a transdental thing? Sorry? Is pi a transdental? Uh, the actual pi, not the 22 by 7 pi. See, basically, uh, yeah, pi and e are transcendental numbers. I mean the actual pi, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, basically in mathematics, we define transcendental numbers as those numbers which are real or complex. That is not a root of a non-zero polynomial equation with integer coefficients. Uh huh. Which is real or complex? Which is not a non-zero solution of a polynomial with integer coefficients. Integer coefficients. But is that required here for problem solving? No, sir. And I'll read the statement carefully. Yes, sir. P is a statement where it says X is an irrational number. Q is a statement where Y is a transcendental number. And R be a statement 
where x is a rational number if and only if y is a transcendental number okay now these are the two statements that they have made r is equivalent to either p or q no so basically that means my answer is a Okay. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Let's check it out. So, if you make truth tables of it, uh, R is an irrational number. Okay, that's what P says. Correct. Mm. But this guy says, not P implies Q. Correct. Yeah. Now, what is my question saying? Question saying. Question is saying that these two statements are equivalent. Oh. So, by the way, Q or P or P or Q are same thing because they are the same thing. Okay. Yes, sir. Can we make a truth table of this and check it out? Yes, sir. I'll make it here itself. Not P implies Q, and here I will make P or Q. Okay. True, true. Hmm. True, true. This guy will be. Ah, uh, true. First one will be true. And the, this guy will be a true false. false. True yeah. false. True false. False and a uh, good guy. Venkat, true Sir? false is going to be true here. Yeah, good guy. Yeah. This says not P and Q, right? So false, false, you have to see. Yes, sir. Now false true. Uh. True. Once again, true. Correct. False. Yes, sir. Uh, false. False. Now take the or of these two. True or true is true. True or true. false is true. False or true is true. False. False is false. False or false. Is this yeah. the same as this? Oh yes, sir. That means statement one is true, my dear. Yeah. आपका आंसर गलत हो गया. <laughs> yeah. कोई बात नहीं चलो. What about statement two? R is equivalent to saying <coughs> not not of or negation of if and only if P then not Q. Yeah. That means this saying this is same as this guy. Check kare. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, we'll erase something over here. Unnecessary things. Acha, do you want me to make this again? It is already made, right? So this column erase karte. Check it. Yes, sir. And I will make uh, negation of. Okay. Now in my mind, I will do a lot of things. So please feel free to ask me. So first, you see P. If and only if P, then not Q. So that tinda p then that double arrow q. Wait, wait, wait. Now in your mind treat this as false. So true and false will definitely give you a false, right? Hmm. Because this until both are true or both are false, this will not give you a true. Correct? Yes, sir. This will give me a true. Tinda of that, yeah. Correct. Now true, true will give me a true. But this will give me a false. False. So the moment I see that there was a true here and there was a false coming over here, they are not equivalent. So this statement is false. That means option D is the right option. Mm, yes, sir. Others who are silent, can I take your silence for? 
that you have understood it niyati sir i oh sorry sir sorry sorry vidyota yes sir type yes personally to me yes sir everybody should type yes everybody should type yes is it okay if i say yes dekho wala only Hey, yeah, not even a chat only. Allah has gone, I think. Yeah, sir, the chats are only private to you. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, you kept it like that. Yeah. Damn. Hey, thank you, sir. Or else, Venkat will be uh, saying some things and all. <laughs> it is recorded. Uh, okay. Shall we next one? Okay. Uh, question number two. We will complete JEE main uh, over here only. Okay. Yeah. Just okay, take- sir. p implies q implies p is equivalent to which of them moment equivalent comes please make truth table without truth table do not take any kind of a guess okay so let's do the truth table so i'm not sure i understood the question though what it means man uh like how do you identify the roots of the statements and all Or is it rational if and only if? Roots. Why is it transcendental number? So that's P double R O Q. Hmm. Wait, I will take the snapshot of this and pull it to the my screen. Now the best way to solve such kind of question is, you should make a truth table with all of them. Oh. P Q. P implies Q implies P. P implies P implies Q. P implies P or Q. P implies Q. P implies Q. If and only if Q. Okay. Don't be scared. Just driven by two table. Okay. Don't be scared. Two two. Let's be very slow. Okay. First of all, tell me what about this? Q implies Q. Is this true? Uh, yeah. True. Correct. Mm. Now P is true and this is true. Good. Husband getting a promotion, taking his wife. Good husband. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. This can also be said to be true. Yeah. What about this? This is true. This is true. So true. Yeah. Everything is true in this thing. True, 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 true. Yeah, everything is true. So up till now we have not been able to distinguish between the options. Basically, yes, sir. Keep an eye on this thing, matching with which of them. Okay. Hmm. Then true, false. Aram se bolna hai. Badi nahi. What about this? Uh, one second, sir. He took her to Singapore. No, he didn't take her to Singapore, even though he got a promotion. Just tell me the uh, he... for this. That's false. I yo, he didn't get a promotion. Still took his wife. He's a bad husband. Wait. Ulta read ulta here. Correct. <laughs> oh, correct. Okay, yeah. Your antecedent. Yes, sir. He didn't get. Mm-hmm. Promotion. Okay. Uh, then. His wife. Good husband, na? So true. Good guy. Yeah. True. 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 Is true. True. Correct. Hmm. Now this will be false. True, true, false. What will it be? Getting a promotion, not taking his wife. This will be false. Yes, sir. What about this? P or Q will be true. So true, true will be true. Correct. <laughs> Am I going too fast? Uh, no, sir. But yeah, okay. 
yes, I got it. देखो, we'll we'll go back. This was this was clear, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now this is true, this is false. So, what should be the answer for this? Are you say something? Thank God. Oh, sir, muted myself. True. P implies Q when P is true and Q is false. Niyati already answered it. It's false. Yeah. Now this is true. Now think as if this is the husband's promise and this is the taking of the wife to Singapore. Getting a promise, not taking the wife. Uh, okay, bad. False. Correct. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now do the same thing over here also. Uh, what is P or Q? True. Uh, yeah, true. And this is already true. P is already true. getting a promotion true. and right. good husband. Correct. Yes, sir. The moment you realize that this is not mapping with this, that means this cannot be true because option A is ruled out. Option A, you have to get out. So going forward, I am not going to waste time on this option. This is crap. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what else we can scrap. Now this is going to be true and this is going to be false, right? Yes, sir. This is also going to be hmm. true. correct now. Yeah, yeah. This is true. This is going to be false. So this is also going to be false. So this is also going to be scrapped. Hmm. Yes, sir. You don't have to do any further. Don't waste your time because that is not going to end up giving you anything. You just have to mark option B and move on. Is the right option? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, got it, sir. Does it make sense to you or not? Everybody, it's a question to everybody. Right. So it makes uh, sense. It's just a little slow. Like it takes a bit of time to write. Yeah, it takes time. But otherwise, yeah. Hello, third one. Statement one says negation of if and only if P then Q is equivalent to if and only if P then Q. Okay. Is what negation of if and only if p then not q is equivalent to if and only if p then q. So the first we'll do that's false. Abhi tum bahut jaldi yar conclude kar lete. How do you conclude this so fast? Sir, uh, then you you try expanding this. You'll get that that thing p uh, that double arrow double double q. Okay. If this is wrong, then you had it from me. You said first statement is false, right? Yeah. Okay. अगर ये गलत हुआ, then <laughs> then see what I do to you. Okay, sir. That means it's gonna be false. My statement. No, it may be correct also, but you should not jump so early, huh? Yes, sir. It will be correct also. I'm just scaring you. <laughs> so I will not. I'll do some calculations in my mind also. Um, okay. Let's take true, true. So this is false. Yes, sir. False. Okay. Now what about this? Both, yeah. True, false. It has to be false because this is false. True. Both are true or both are false. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is true. Hmm. And this guy will also be true. Okay. Yeah. Up to to true, eh? Let's see. <laughs> true, false. True. True. Uh, true. And now see here. True. 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 Hmm. That guy is true. This guy is false. This guy is false. And now look here. True. False. False. And guy. You. <laughs> false. This is false. 
false yeah. uh, now look at this guy and this guy false false means true negation yeah. is false now these two will be false i got last <laughs> <laughs> false false this is true okay then this and this will be false false that will be true false false is true true yo yo that see don't jump into a conclusion so this is a true statement yes they are equivalent okay so statement uh, one is true true now do the st statement number 2 okay yes sir is that a tautology hey you uh, ding ding tautology who uh, uh okay one second sir p q it means whatever MP. put your answer for this will always be true is that the case check mark yes sir. so let's check true true false true true false false true no sir is not at all actually are correct so this no. is ha ah, fine sir <laughs> see right c is the answer yeah okay next if alpha beta are the roots of this ayo this is not a bite. yes sir so this this will do this will do this seems like a Are, this same is question minus omega and minus omega square minus omega square yes i just put it uh, yes, we'll, okay okay this one you have already done okay so we'll do six one Okay. Six one six yes, one. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sixth one is consider the following statement: Suman is brilliant. Suman is rich. Suman is honest. Okay. Which of the following statement represents the negation of the statement? Suman is brilliant and dishonest. If and only if Suman is. Good question. इट्स I'm thinking. If it only if someone this which okay. A sir. Someone is brilliant and dishonest. Sir, total the answer one second. Brilliant is dishonest. P that and uh, dash R thing R. If and only if it is rich. So basically, this by uh, condition with if and only if it is rich. Rich is Q, right? So yeah. So what option of this? This is your answer. Yeah. Which option? Not this one. Not this one. Yeah, this one. C. C. Oh, sir, why can't we solve it like uh, P a thing uh, that dash R? maps to double maps to q e conjunction not r sir pronounce it as conjunction conjunction yeah can this guy is conjunction see here suman is brilliant and dishonest so this is one statement which is connected with if and only if suman is rich correct so q yeah. suman is rich if and only yeah. is symbol hmm suman is brilliant is p P and dash R. Okay. Conjunction. Dishonest is negation of R. The whole thing's negation. You want. So this is the answer. Oh yeah. Correct. Yes, sir. Next. 
delegation of the state if i then i will open a school hmm i told you that negation of p implies q is same as saying p and not q and not q yeah that means yeah, i am yeah. a teacher and i will not open a school we open a school yeah okay yeah See what type of questions were coming in the past. So easy, very scoring topic. Do not leave out any. Yeah. Next Sir, uh, the subjective questions were hard, and then from 2000 to 2000, like what 11, it became damn easy. Now it became harder again. Oh really? Like 1900s, 1970s. Now I just seen one question. That's they were hard. Then 2000s to 2011, 12. As long as AI triple was there, it became damn easy. Then again, it started becoming difficult. Oh, is it like that? Sure. Yeah. Who gave you that trend analysis? I saw some questions, sir. Okay. Next, consider statement one and statement one. two. Statement one is a falsity. Statement two is a tautology. I will. You tied. one is two oh. i think i made it actually mm. uh, sorry sir i don't think i was listening right what's the tautology again oh my god tautology is something which is always true. true always true falsity which is always false Okay, got it. Thank you, sir. The outcome of this, if you do a truth table for this, it should always give you false, false, false. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that seems to. One second, sir. That was an honest confession from the edge. Just let me know when you are done with the first. Statement two is also true. Statement one. Statement one when you are oh, done. First one is true. Adve uh, Vidyata, Advaita. So, uh, uh, both statement one and two are true. Not sure about the explanation, but I'll do it. Statement one and. Okay, one second, bro. I'm still doing the first one. Statement one and two both are true. Yeah. And there yeah, are uh, this one I know. So B, according to you, the B should be the answer, right? Uh, correct explanation. This always confuses. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh. But once again, I won't. I'm not yet given my verdict on the first statement. Okay, I'm waiting for your verdict. <laughs> Supreme Court ruling uh, that. <laughs> All false. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? Eh? True, true, guy. Ha, true, guy. True, false, false. It's a false and a false. It becomes false, 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 false. Yes, sir. First one is false. I mean, it's a fallacy. Is true. Okay. Chalo, we'll check. So P and not Q means this is false. F T F F. This is going to be T. This is going to be F. This is going to be F. 
Not Q is false, true is false. FFTF. False, P, false. Okay, so I am slightly fast here. Then you are taking the conjunction of this. So this will be false, 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 false. So this is definitely a false. Falsy. So this is a true statement. Okay? Yeah. Next one. Totology. So the sad part is only one option gets eliminated in these kind of things. Q. Hey, we don't have to do this also. This is a contrapositive of the same statement. Oh, oh correct. I didn't see that. <laughs> is, so let's do the. Uh, let me call this as statement R and this as. This is R itself, right? We are doing yes, R implies R actually. Okay, this will always be a true, right? R implies R. R. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's take here. Let's say this gives true, then this will also be true. If this is false, this will also be false. Yeah. So true, true will always be true. False, false will always be true for this. So this is a tautology. Yeah. So second one is also true. But they are nowhere different. So we can see option B. So absolutely. Uh, yes, sir. You are absolutely correct. Uh, Statement yes, one is true, two is true, but two is not a correct explanation for one. Back. Ninth one. Let's do ninth one. Okay, sir. The uncle G. Hmm. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D uh, that just became an F. That became Yeah, I'm gonna say I i I'm gonna say A. But say before B. you before B. I say anything, I won't say anything. Now keep your options ready with you. One second, sir. Uh before one second please. T F Yeah, I guess I'll say B. But I need more time with the sad. So I'm redoing it sir, one second. Oh. I messed up somewhere. Uh, what about the uh, this one present one? Have you done this present one? Do you want to get the almost done? Equivalent to 
Where does this guy go? Yeah, so this guy is this guy. Sir, I'm saying A, sir. Yeah, I'll say A. I was insane for saying B. Yeah, it's A. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you discuss quickly? Yeah. So this will be P if and only. Yes, sir. See, this is false. So true, 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 false. Correct. So true, true will be T. False, false will be true. Uh, this will be also. Uh, uh, false. Negation will be true. False. Mirror image. Yeah. Hmm. True, false, false. F false, true. So this is equivalent to A. Yes, sir. Ideally, I should have made all of them, but you no. Know, first option, I just tried it out, and it was matching. A is the correct option. So tautology fallacy, pakka, you can remove them. I mean, yeah. Because there's only one thing, right? So one time it will be a false. Better not take the risk, but sure. Last one. Negation of this guy is equivalent to. So I'm pretty sure no one like the sophists. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they were wandering. Okay. Yes. Uh, Okay, Vidyuta, noted down your answer. Vidyuta has already answered. I just finished drawing, writing the titles of the truth table. Few things you can directly apply. You can apply that, uh, what do you call it? Morgan's law. S and negation of this. Negation of this will be R. Oh, uh, uh, that. Dash S, yeah. This is like your, uh, you know, uh, distributed property. So think as if it is S intersection R union S complement. S intersection R union S intersection S complement. But this is the null set. Universe. Oh, yeah, null set. Answer will be this. So you don't have to actually bother doing it. Option D is there. Uh, Thanks to the property of sets that we can use here. See, the choice of this symbol was also because it was resembling your union and intersection. This is like your intersection. This resembles like that. This is like your union. Yeah, yes, sir. And and on. Okay. So, guys, last part is left. We'll complete that and we'll do more questions. Don't worry, after we have completed this, we'll take up more questions. The last part of this topic is validation of statements. Validating statements. This is important from your school point of view, but it will not be asked in JE actually. Because this is proving it by writing you know, such a set of uh, statements and uh, sentences, which definitely will not be required in JE. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Then we'll be learning how to validate two types of statement. One is your if then implication. And the second one is your if and only if statement. What is the meaning of validation or validating? Proving it is true. Okay. So first, let us start with if then. So if you have been given any statement, which is an if then implication that is if P then Q, then we normally have three ways to prove it. Okay. The first method is what we call as the direct method. 
in this method what we do we follow these two steps we first assume that p is true okay and then by assumption in the first we prove that q is true so if my both p and q become true true we know that if p then q has to be true so it works on this particular truth table let me give an example let me give an example on this <clears throat> let's say um, me pull out a good example for this if n is an even number then n square is an even number or you can say even integer okay now let us say we want to use our direct method to validate this if then statement so when you are in school always first mention what are you calling as p and what are you calling as q What is P here? P is basically n is a n is an even number. Even integer. Okay, yeah, you can write integer. Integer. Yeah. Okay, is an even integer. And what is your consequent? N square is an even integer. Okay. Keep it as simple as possible. Do write fancy stuff while writing statement. now by direct method we'll first say let p be true that is you're saying n is an even number n is an even integer so let n be 2 let's say m okay now what is n square n square can be written as 4 m square this is a can you mute your mic yeah So now you can write this as 2k, where you are calling k as your 2m square, which definitely implies that n square is even. That means you have proved that q is true. So by assuming p is true, if you have been able to prove that q is true, that means it implies this is also true by this truth table. Okay. Now many people ask, what if P was actually not a true true statement? Now let us say it was false also. But if you prove that your consequent is true, then still false true will give you a true. Remember, did not get a promotion, still took his wife for the Singapore trip. That's a still a true statement. Okay. So here assumption itself being false doesn't matter to us. <coughs> are you getting my point so this implies this is true that means this statement here is a true statement understood how direct method works now the next method which is b so a we have already discussed direct method so i'll go up another method which we call as the contra positive method contra positive method what are the steps that we follow for contra positive method in contra positive method step number 1 let q be false that is you are saying negation q be true okay and using this assumption by your first assumption if you prove that p is false that is you are able to prove that negation p is true then basically what you have done you have done something which you did in the direct method but now apply it to negation p and negation q so that means this is true and since this is logically equivalent to this it means this is also true hands done Are you must be wondering. One second, sir. Yes. 
let q be fall i mean by one t is fall okay 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 prove that by using one prove that by using the first assumption prove that p is false that means your negation hmm. p is true yes sir that means you are proving that if not q then not p is actually hmm. the proof of this and both oh, okay we have seen from the truth tables that these two statements are logically equivalent to each other isn't it yes sir therefore if this is true this guy also has to be true because they follow the same truth tables correct yeah yeah now where do we need a counter positive approach let me go back and give you the same question in a slightly different way let's say there is a statement r which says if n square is an even number even integer then n is also even okay now try to prove this by using direct method If you use direct method, you'll see that there are some bottlenecks. For example, let let n square be even. You can say let let's say this is your p, and let's say this is your q. So let p be true. If you say that you are then saying n square is equal to even number, so let's say it's two m. Then your n yeah. is under root two m. Now we are clueless whether how do we show that this is also even. So direct method fails. It is not a convincing way of doing it because you will not be able to convince the examiner that if two m under root is also even. This is a direct thing, isn't it? Yes, sir. so this has a you can say shortcoming so we cannot use direct method so let us use contra positive method so in contra positive method what we'll say let q be false okay okay that is you are saying n is not a given number what n square is even okay wait 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 so let n be odd by the law of excluded middle if something is not even it has to be odd correct so let n be 2m plus 1 correct so n square will be 2m plus 1 square that's nothing but 4m square plus 4m plus 1 that's nothing twice of 2m square plus 2m plus 1 It is called as two k plus one. That means it is odd. Correct? Yes, sir. What have you proved that n square is odd? Dash n, which implies you have proved that it is false. Correct? That mm. is, you have proved that negation p is true. Correct? So by making an assumption that negation q is true, you have proved that negation. Oh. So we can say that this is true, and hence this is true because both are equivalent statements. Are you getting my point? How it works? Yes, sir. Okay. The last method, which is not a new method to you, you have done this in your childhood days also, which is called the contradiction method. Ayo, <laughs> do you remember that real number chapter you had in CBSE in class ten? Prove that root two is irrational. Amazing. Prove that root two is irrational. So how does it work in this case? When you are proving a statement, if uh, then statement to be true by using contradiction method, the approach that we use is we first assume that p is false and q is true. So what do we assume? P is false and Q is true. 
or we can say p is true and q is false why have i chosen mm. this actually in contradict and then you contradict yourself see this was the only condition when your if then statement was false right remember the truth mm, yeah husband gets a promotion doesn't tell his wife for the foreign trip for the mm. singapore trip this was the only situation when your if then was false isn't it yes sir so i have assumed that let Q be true and Q be false. That means I have assumed that this is false. Okay, and then I reach a contradiction step, or you can say contradictory step. That means this is not true. That means this is happening. That means negation of false is happening. Let me write it false. that means your statement will become true are you getting my point so again i mean again i'm repeating the process involved first you assume that p is true and q is false by assuming that you are indirectly assuming that your given if then statement is false and when you contradict that means your if then statement becomes true simple as that and hence we prove that this is true Yes or no? Okay. Yes, sir. might be. Eh? Hey, don't give such a cold response. What is what is uh, not clear in this? Ask me. Which is bandwidth is not matching. One second. Bandwidth is not matching. If P is true and Q is false, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine. Got it, sir. can you do the the same question which i had given let's say i start with this guy okay let me give you another question on this let's see whether you are able to do that <clears throat> yeah question is if x cube plus 4x is zero, where x is your real number, then x is zero. Validate this by all the three methods: direct method, contrapositive method, and contradiction method. But first, start with contradiction so that we have. Understood how that method works. So, is there a method called solving method? No, no. Okay, sir. Then you'll come to x square plus four, which is uh, that complex thing. But then you're given the condition here. Yeah. do it at your end then we'll discuss it Is I have done it. Not sure if it's right or not. Yes, sir. Can we discuss now, sir? Yes, sir. I did something. I'm not sure. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
Okay, so we'll start with contradiction method because we haven't done this yet. Okay. So in contradiction method, what was the steps? So first we'll assume P is true. So this is your P by the way. And this is your Q. False. It's better to write them very, very clearly in the exam. P and this is your Q. So in contradiction method, we'll say let P be true. And but Q be false. And Q be false. And yeah, correct. You should use but. That means you're saying this guy is zero and this guy is not zero. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. That means you're saying x into x, x into x square plus 4 equal to 0. And since, not zero. since this guy is not equal to 0, this guy should be equal to 0. Now we know that. Now we know that. If x, x not equal to zero, real number x square plus four will always be a positive quantity, isn't it? Yes, sir. That means if the product of x with a positive quantity is zero, that means only x could be zero, and this x is not zero. Isn't this a contradiction? At one place you are saying x is zero, and at other place you are saying x is not zero. Yes, sir. It means my assumption. Itself false. Okay. Correct. That is that is P implies Q is true. Isn't it? Yeah. Because assumption is yes, sir. that P implies Q is false. And you have proved that false itself is false, means it is true. Negation of a false negation. itself is false. Yeah, so basically what you are saying. Oh, yeah. You are saying negation of a false, right? Yeah. So not false means it is true. Yes, sir. Right. Now, can we discuss direct method and contra positive method as well? Are you done with that or do you want some time? Sometimes, sir. Okay, do direct method now. So this is done. So this is what this is what I meant by saying uh, solving method. Huh. Basic solving you have to do. Yes, sir. Sir, contra positive done. What do you were doing? Ah, uh, no, sir, no, sir. Do it anyway. Okay. Uh, con let's try it right now. I mean, I didn't write anything for contra positive. I just thought of it. Direct. Guys, are we ready to do it with uh, direct method? Sir, could you just scroll up to the direct method page one second? Okay, direct method is assume P is true and then prove Q is also true. 
डन सर चलो विल विल डिस्कस डायरेक्ट मेथड नाउ इन डायरेक्ट मेथड व्हाट डू वी से लेट पी बी ट्रू दैट मींस लेट एक्स क्यूब प्लस फोर एक्स बी इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन सेम थिंग दैट मींस यू आर सेइंग दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो but since this is always positive this always leads to x equal to 0 that means p is and that means q is true so by assuming p is true you have proved that q is true therefore this if p then q is also true done simplest okay next is the counter positive method counter positive method So what do we do in this case? We'll say let Q be false. Yeah, let x not equal to zero. That is, you're saying not Q be true. That means you're saying x is not equal to zero. Okay. So now. That means x is either positive or negative. Now. Oh, okay. Yes. Now. This can be written as this. Okay. So if x is positive. Then x into x square plus four will also be positive because this guy is always positive, okay. And if x is negative, then x into x square plus four will always be negative. Either of them implies that this term will not be zero. Yes, sir. That means you have proved that p is false. That is, you have proved negation p is true. right and hence we can say negation negation q implies negation p is true which further implies yes, that this is true because they are both equivalent statements by the contra positive approach is that fine yes sir now we'll do some problem solving on uh, the type of question that we'll be getting in the exam yes sir so, go to the first few questions pravina uh d first one hmm are we ready with the answer Yes, sir. Which New Delhi is a city which the following is not a location of T. D D D D for Delhi. All of them are negation of P, right? So this is also yes, sir. Right answer is one of these because they are asking not a negation of P. Yes, sir. Is that fine? Yes, sir. If P is a statement, then which of the following is a tautology? Is a is a tautology? Is a policy? Uh, one one second, sir. One second. my stand bro f means a statement which is false okay this is oh okay sir one second c uh, no 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 none of these Is this a tautology? No, right? No, sir. This is a tautology. No. No. Is this a tautology? If F is false, then uh, false or false, which is bad. It's not a tautology. If P is false, sorry. Correct. Sir. It depends upon what is P, right? Yeah. 
If P is false, it'll be false. The entire thing. Correct. So it depends upon P here. So this also, so option D will be correct. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's skip the third one and we'll move on to the next. Uh, third one is C, by the way. Correct. Yes. Fourth one. Which of the following statement is true? If each of the following statement is true, then what have they written here? Some some mistake is there. Some printing mistakes seems to be right. Uh, wait, sir. I don't know. P means not Q. Okay. Like I, I didn't even get that. So. Uh, just leave these two. I think some printing mistake. Let's go to the sixth one. Equal means it is a tautology. tautology. Uh, P and true and false. No. Is this a tautology? Sir, C, sir. No, sir. No, sir. What about this? P. No, sir. The tautology. So it's not the tautology. C. Which of the following? Q. P implies Q is equal. No, 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 not. Uh, D. Sorry, D. D. D is correct. Yes, sir. This is the this is the contra positive. Contra positive. Yeah. Next. Seventh one. P if, and Q are false. Uh, P implies Q. So B. If both P and Q are false. Intersection cannot be true, so this is wrong. Union can be false. False, right? Yes, sir. This is correct. Hmm. Okay. Say so multi choice or single choice. Let's see. It may be multi also. Never know. J advance asked this chapter. No, they, they, they don't advance ask, but this may actually include special things. Okay, okay. False and vice false. This is true. So this is also true. Yes, sir. Correct. So B and yeah. B are Damn, bro. <laughs> Both. We can skip. P. No, no, gone. Okay, yeah, same thing. Uh, we can do nine. P is true, Q is false. Which of the following is not true? That means false. Yeah. Mm, P or A. And B. This is false? This is? Hmm. False? That one no, that one no. This is basically the negation of this guy, so this cannot be the answer. This is a this is a tautology, right? Yeah. This cannot be an answer. So A and B are correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's, see. <laughs> Let's complete this exercise. So that... Okay, sir. Which one you would? Converse. What's it? Ninth we did, na? Right? Ten. Let's do ten. Tenth we did. P is false. Q is true. Then this is true is wrong. No. This is false. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah. This. No, no, no. This. Mm -hmm. Must be not. Mm, yeah, oh, it must be. So D. So 10 D. Next. Three. Yeah. So wait, sir, wait, sir. P implies Q is true. How, sir? How P implies Q is true? Husband didn't get a promotion. 
Ah, okay. Then took his wife for the foreign trip. Good husband, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Next. Converse of the. Converse of the statement. P. Oh, this one. Okay. What is that converse? So finding contrapositive is similar to reflection about origin. I just realized. Vidyuta. Wait, two, two steps in one. What is the answer for the eleventh one? Vidyuta and Advaita. Converse of this. Hey, while I was explaining, I told you know what the converse converse is. Ulta. See. See. This is called. Yes, sir. This is called contrapositive. Contrapositive. Called inverse. Hmm. Yes, sir. Next. Contrapositive. About A. The Dota and Adota. Both please write down, or you can speak up also. In fact, let uh, when that you also write down because then nobody will get influence. All of you. Okay, sir. Twelfth one, right? Twelfth one, yeah. Correct. A. This is the point of answer. Uh, by the way, when you are writing, write as the question number and your answer, so that I know which one you are answering. Okay, sir. Next, which of the following is logical negation of negation P implies C? One second, sir. Okay, we do that. Put it down. Let's wait for uh, others to answer. Hmm. One sec, sir. Abhita, what about you? One sec, sir, please. So is it C? Oh, sh sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't. I shouldn't have said that. Hello, Agvita. Discuss, correct? Let's discuss. So, let me draw P Q and P implies Q, and then finally we have. Negation of negation P implies Q. Okay, so true, true. So false, true is a good husband. So this will be false. Then true, false, 
this will be false, false, then true, then false. Then you have uh, false, true. Uh, that means it's true, it will be true, and this will be false. And false, false means this will be false, that will be true. Okay. Now, this is the truth table of which of the following? True, true, false doesn't give me so it cannot be false. Let's see P and not Q. So true, false, false. Yes. True, true, false. This cannot be answered. Yes, sir. Now so if A is not the answer, why will D be the answer? Sorry? A is not the answer. Why will D be the answer? What do you mean by that? Contra positive, right? Not a contra positive. Contra positive is not Q implies not P. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is not a con This is a and symbol in between. Okay. Now, not P means false, true. False, true will give you a false. So this is matching. Or uh, true, true should give you a true, but there's a false over here. So C also cannot be the option. Now, false and false is false. That is matching. True and false is false and true. That is matching. True and false, false is again matching. This is matching. So D is the option actually. Here, do, I, do you want me to do it separately in some different page or is it understood from here? Understood, sir. Okay. Next, which of the following is true for any two statements P and Q? This is a symbol for equivalence. This is the symbol. The same that we use for congruency. Okay, Vidyata. Multiple may be correct, so please be careful. Oh, okay. One, okay, sir. One second. This is not all of it. By the way, second question is incomplete. Mm, yeah. Mm. One sec, sir. One sec. Almost gone. Sir, uh, a contradiction here is what? Like, I understood what contradiction actually means, but what is it in this context, sir? I mean, this output will always be false. Oh, okay. That means policy. Yep. Oh, okay, sir. One sec. Uh, he is and right. Yes, sir. This is incomplete. Yes, sir. A and C. Okay. Gone. Okay. Let me check about the C option. Yes, sir. So true, true. This will be true, but this will be true. False. True and false will be false. Hmm. 
Okay. Next is true false. This will be uh, false and false and true. False and true will be false. Hmm. False and true will be false, and this will be false. So false and false will be false. And finally, you have false false. So this will be false, but this will be true. This will be false. So this is a contradiction. C is also correct. Hmm. Yes, sir. So with Dota, why did you leave out? Next, 15th. That symbol that they have made. Let it be the symbol. Oh, okay, no problem. So are you able to hear someone crying? Yeah. Okay, then I should mute myself. Baby actually. Okay, Vidurta, what about uh, others? One sec, sir. I just now figured out how, how to do it. Okay, let's discuss. Yes, sir. Substitute options, right? Yes, you can do that only. So let's say true false false. P is true, Q is false, and R is true. R is also false. Hmm. True and true. That is true. Yes, sir. And this is and this is false and false. It is false. So two and yeah. two false. So yes, first false. Two. Okay. Hmm. What about others? Let's check. False and true gives false. No, no, no. P Q R. False and false is false again. Oh yeah. And true and false. True and false is false. So false and false is false. So this is also correct. Okay. Next. Next. False and false. So this will be false. And yes, sir. This will be true and true. So false and true will be false. False, false again. He is also correct. This I don't think. So this will be true and false. So this is false. For the moment one is when, false. Check the other. That is also false. Yeah. 
Where we could have saved time by checking if any one of them is false. Oh yeah. Next. Total. Sixteenth one. Hmm. So can something be tautology and contradiction at the same time? No, right? No. Correct. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's the whole genesis of calling a statement because we're dealing with statement. A statement cannot be simultaneously true and false. Yeah. Just a second, sir, please. Done. So much time. It's alright. I sent you. Uh. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Seventeen. Correct, Advaita. It has to be a tautology because both are same things, right? Yes, sir. So seventeen B is the right answer. Correct. Eighteen. Sir, um, in the third option in eighteen, should we assume some sign between there? Oh yeah, they have missed out the sign. A lot of printing mistakes here. Which book, sir? This is the uh, Arian Zengage. Arian Zengage, okay. Zengage, okay. Ignore. Yeah, I don't think this. Day. Yeah. Okay. What is P? P is false, right? P is false. So wherever there's a negation, negation of P, that should be there. So P is false. Six is the divisor of twelve, uh, and this is also true. R. Hmm. SCF of this is two. This is also true, right? Hmm. So which is true? This cannot be true. That can't be true. Huh? Sorry. Yeah. Correct, sir. Yes. Sir. Nothing. 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 
this is uh, true intersection false so this will be false hmm. this is hmm. and this is true or true true or true is true that means option d is the right answer yeah got it 19 so i'm sending you huh i'm sending you sir Sent. Others. Okay, let's discuss. Here, uh, we already know the truth table for this. Hmm. What is that? True, true is true. True, false is false. False. False, true is true. False, false is true. Right? Hmm. Just remember this. Okay. Now, what about other way round? True. True. False. True. Correct. If I or if I take or of first. Hmm. So true and two is true. Okay. Hmm. This will be true. then uh, and true will be false. Correct. Right? Yes, sir. True and false will be true. then true and true. Will be true. So this is not logically. So D cannot be your answer. Yes, sir. Let's take this one. P and Q. Will be true or okay? Let me write it like this: true, true, or will be true. So that is this good. Now, if you have true false for both of them, this will be false, while this will be true. Hmm. And their or will be true again, which doesn't match with this. So this also cannot be matched. Yes, sir. Last one, uh, B. Sorry, B one. So P or Q will be what? P or Q will be true. And this, I mean, this is a, this is a tautology, right? So this also cannot be my answer. Oh, correct, correct. This is a tautology, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Didn't see that option only. Okay. What about this one? Here you are taking the union of two. So true, true is true. False, true. False. False, true is true, right? False, true. Uh, he didn't take her, but he got promotion. If this is, if this is true and this is false, that means I am taking into account this case. Hmm. True and this is false. Correct. Yeah. Then your answer is going to be true. Correct. This is the other one. Uh, he didn't get it, but he took. Okay. Next is if this guy is false and this guy is true, my answer should be true again. But here the answer is false. Yeah. None of these are logically given. 
some again mistake kachra mistake they have done kachra <laughs> Mm, yeah. So can you just check the A one again? I feel that might be the answer. Okay, I'll check again. Like I, I think it's the ulta way. I'll take this question separately. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. so let's have p q p implies q q implies p and then you're saying to check a right so p implies q or q implies p so if the truth table of this matches with this that means statement a is correct let's check true true True, false, false, true, false, false. True, true will give you true. This will be true, false, false. false true. Oh, sorry, true, false, true. true. Yeah. If you look at ulta, then this will be true, true, false, true. Right? Yeah. Now they they are taking their or. So or will be true, true. Okay. True. This is actually a tautology. Tautology. Okay, sir. That means this and this do not match. So you cannot. Don't match, yeah. Yes, sir. Even if you take their uh, hand, you realize true, true, false, true. Yeah. It also doesn't match with this. Oh, they should have given Q equal to implies P, and then probably then and here and and then it'll be correct. But two mistakes didn't make it right this time. Uh, let's do twenty-one. 